All right, so pretty much at all of my farming locations, I do like to have a little farming hut, essentially, where I keep a workbench. That way I can repair my tools before they ever need supplies to repair them. Bed in case something does go wrong. And again, a campfire just to nice and, you know, keep it nice and cozy. But right here at this particular farming location, there is a ton of of easy to access bark, flint, sorrel. Then a little bit further to the kind of the southwestish over here, there's gonna be plenty of the I believe that's foxtail. And a foxtail, which gives you fiber and uh, seeds of plenty. The sorrel, of course, is a good place for fiber as well. This isn't entirely a non-combat farming area, as there are, like, that water bug there. And I believe a gecko roams the area on occasion. But if you have a few bandages, you can take a, the gecko and the water bug fairly easily. Uh, low risk, but again, you've got that bed in case something goes awry. Most of these farming locations I go to... They typically have the supplies to make everything you need for your farming hut in the spot. Uh, this one, you could bring some wood to. It's not going to be the easiest to get to, as you're going to have to cross up here, uh, or possibly over here from the Elder to get down here. And there's going to be a lot of bees in the way. But overall, just dodge roll when you need to, again. And you can travel over here pretty early on. And as soon as you get your bed up, nothing bad can really happen to you. And you just run back to yourself a time or two. Alright, so another favorite of mine is this little area here. That shoes the Elder. You travel down this way. And this is another good spot for flint and bark. It's around the same danger level, but it's easier to get to from the Elder. Uh... Down here, whereas on the other one there was a gecko and a water bug and green beetles. Traveling down this way, you'll have a green beetle, possibly two. One gecko over there, which you can entirely avoid if you want to. And then a water bug here. There is more sorrel in this general location, uh, but you have a decent stretch of flint. There's some stone, of course, and a good amount of bark. It's a great area for starting out in to move up to the flint tools to start with and get a flint sword so you can actually go fight in the other area. Uh, beyond that, this whole beach line is covered in flint and geckos for the herptile leather, or hide, sorry, uh, bones, you know, all that stuff. But this is where you're going to be finding flint, bark, and uh, the sorrel, mostly. All right, so we've got an area here that has very few combatants. There's a stag beetle over there. Uh, another one up that way to the east. But as you can see, plenty of clay accessible without having to fight to get it. However, this area is kind of hard to get to as it is pretty much dead middle of this southern island just west of the stag beetle uh from the elder you're southeast a little bit here way south a little east but it is in the middle of this island it's going to be difficult to get to without a chest piece that has the wings so you can glide from this tree encampment to this location starting out from this land bridge which is southeast of the elder uh do pretty much directly south of this tree encampment and right here with our early game flint and bark farming spot. You can cross right here. Uh, there are going to be a few uh, enemies in the way. Blubber over here. There's a gecko further back. But as long as you kind of kite your way around these areas. You will be able to make it to a relatively safe area farm some clay i'm going to show you guys the path i followed early game with the glide breastplate you can 
make it uh, to the further inland area and farm in peace relatively. So, the gecko, not much of a threat. I'd prefer to have him follow me than the lubber, personally. It's easy to dodge them. Great audible cue for the dodging. And fairly easy to outpace. Here's our second gecko here. A couple of dodge rolls to get distance. And we've outpaced him. There's going to be a stag beetle further up that way. Try not to go there. You're going to be turning left off this pattern directly east, pretty much. You would follow that path if you wanted to fight a lubber. Uh, personally, I run up this log here for this route. And here we are. A nice, safe, relatively speaking, area to farm clay. There are, as best as I can tell, if you get here without anything attacking you, the only opponent is a lizard further over there that you do not have to engage with, and you have plenty of clay to harvest. Uh, you will be fairly content with your haul, especially early game. Uh, granted, if you're early game, you probably don't even need clay, but it gets you to the next step in your farming and crafting. Here's the Black Hornet. Here's Knock. This is this sign right here. And right there is pretty much all the metal. Getting here will definitely have a little combat. But once you're here, as you can see, you can run down that pole. And you have plenty of metal without any combat. And then one ant right there. Pretty good area to do some farming. There's a little bit of flint in the area, but not a lot. Uh, however, this area over here is easier to get to with less combat. So it might be easier to get here for those earlier game. It's got a bit less metal, but it has some additional flint resources. And plenty of saplings, so you can start your base off easier. You don't need to bring many materials with you. You can put up a workbench, get a fire going, make it a little bit cozier. However, my main farming base for this area is over here. It kind of splits the difference between the two areas. Great place as a rest stop between one and the other to repair your stuff and get back on the farming train. Although, because I'm in this area, I do deal with a lot of the gray flies. Uh, so, keep that in mind when you're building either area. They can both be non combative. Uh, that other one to the east is just easier to get to to begin with. As a uh, bonus resource from our metal farming location on the map here. There are also cockroaches here for the heavy chitin, which you can make the chitin bow with, and obviously a few other improvements. Now, once you have a chitin bow, taking on the black hornet at the top is also kind of a breeze, if I'm being honest. I may do a video on that in the near future if anybody would be interested. But from our metal farming location, travel southwest here along this ravine that has more resources, slightly more dangerous. There's another cockroach there. The cockroaches are fairly easy for combat as long as you get them one on one. Uh, you still are going to want better armor, but. Their attack sequence there is long enough that if you dodge roll to the side or behind them, you can often get a heavy attack off without ever taking damage. And again, a fairly... Oh, he actually got me. Straightforward fight, though. 
You can also just choose to tank all the damage, but... Dodge roll behind. Heavy deck. Oh, that was unfortunate. But again, just dodge roll behind and attack. And they pretty much won't even touch you. Oh, unless you fall off a cliff. <laughs> Don't do that. So, starting out nearby Nock, which is similarly placed to the metal farming area. You can run over here. Uh, you do not need any kind of wings on your armor. Uh, that obviously makes traversal of the map easier. But there's this nice path right here. You can just dodge away from the beetles when you hear their audio cue that they're going to attack. And you just follow this path all the way to the bottom. A little windy. It'll leave you alone eventually. Nothing to worry about. I guess I just dodge as required. Come down here. I'll see this big tree. Spider over there. Just drop right down here. Couldn't really damage you. And this is your entry point. With that, it seems like it's kind of random generated on how much is here. But there is a ton of the little a spider cocoons. And these jumping spiders, as long as you don't mess with them, they won't mess with you. So entirely non-combat area. Into this tunnel, there's usually a couple more on either side. The rest of it turns into a dead end with nothing else, so not much of a point in journeying through here. Uh, you could set up a farming base just outside of it. Silk isn't needed so often that I've bothered to make one yet. And uh, when you're ready to exit here, I recommend leaving the same way you came in. Otherwise, you're going to run into a lot of spiders a toad maybe uh it can get very dangerous very quick if you're an early game player if you're late game obviously anyways those are my picks for best farming locations based on difficulty to farm and difficulty to reach uh you know if you guys know of any better farming locations please let me know in the comments i hope this helps anybody trying to find specific materials for building or furthering their crafting. Uh, good luck. I'm off to slay an albino spider.